Hey there, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're tuning in from today. Thanks for joining me. Um, I thought today for uh, just a couple of minutes, I would use my empowering questions cards and just answer a question today. So if you're up for it, let's see, uh, let's see what comes up and uh, see what the question is for the day. How or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? Ooh, interesting question. How or in what way do I experience myself when I'm alone? Well, I think it could be any of two ways or kind of a, a spectrum of ways. If I am not settled and if I am not centered, then I might be experiencing myself kind of as a, a bundle of anxiety um, tangled up in thinking about what's what's next on my agenda. So like if I'm in the shower in the morning, I can tell whether or not I'm centered or whether I'm not simply by where my mind is. Um, I might be thinking if I find that I am kind of tangled up in what's coming up for my for me in in my day I might be thinking about you know what's next on my agenda what am I going to do first who am I going to see what do I need to prepare um, and that's one way I might experience myself but the way I prefer to experience myself when I am aware when I become aware that I'm in that other extreme that I just uh, that I just described my preferred way of experiencing myself is from a place of, of centeredness and from a place of um, peace. Um, so when I say centeredness, I think about three things, uh, my body, my emotions, and my language. So um, when I'm alone, I strive to be centered. Even actually when I'm around people, I strive to be centered. But how I experience myself when I'm alone my body, I strive to be settled in my body, kind of relaxed, no tension in my neck or my shoulders, sort of breathing evenly. Um, my emotions are kind of neutral where I'm not necessarily excited or sad. I'm just kind of here and um, my language or my inner dialogue is silent. Um, I'm not speaking to myself in you know, my judge brain or, or uh, thinking words in my mind, but my, actually my mind is silent. So how I, how I experience myself when I'm alone, that's my preferred way of experiencing myself. And really what it takes for me is it just takes awareness. If I am, a, if I am not aware, that I'm not in my centered place, then I can't actually get to my centered, my place of centeredness. So I just have to notice when I'm alone, um, what I'm feeling and, and then take the steps to center myself, to center my body and relax my body, to create that neutral emotion and, um, and the silent brain. So yeah, how do you experience yourself when you're alone? And uh, do you like to experience yourself? Do you like how you are when you are alone? Or is there some other way that you would like to experience yourself? It would be interesting to hear back from you. See what, see what uh, this brings up for you. Um, and how about if you comment below, share a video or just share your story. What do you experience? when you are alone. There's the question of the day. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye now.